In this overview, we're going to talk about power clipping. This happens to be one of my favorite features in Corel Draw. So power clipping, let's uh, explain it as quickly and easily as possible. So here we have a photo of Mount Hood. What we can do is we can take any object, whether it be a photograph or a bitmap based object or a vector object, and we can basically put it into uh, a shape. So let's do this. Let's type out Mount Hood and let's change the font size or the font type. We'll do impact and we'll change the size of this and make it a little bit larger here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this photo of Mount Hood and we're going to put that inside of the text of Mount Hood. So the quickest, the easiest, and in my opinion the best way to, uh, to coordinate that process is to right mouse click on your object or your photo that you wish to power clip and drag it and hover it over another object. Now once I do that, once I right mouse click and let go, I have power clip inside. And once I select that option, you'll notice how our photograph is now inside of our text. Now in order to make changes and edits to that, I'm going to go ahead and right mouse click and say edit contents. And this will let me make uh, changes. So if I want to scale this photo down, you know, give it a little more dimension here, make sure it showcases, I can right mouse click once again and I can say finish editing. And when I do that, you can see the reflected change now made in my workspace. So power clipping is a really powerful tool to uh, integrate digital backgrounds and textures and images into vector-based shapes. Uh, we can power clip vector objects into other vector objects. In fact, you can uh, continue to make uh, additional uh, you know, uh, power clips. So for example, let's just uh, create a new object here and just for sake of... Uh, for sake of argument here, so you can see how this works, I can take another object and once again go back into my container. I can say power clip inside, and I can have multiple objects power clipped into the same thing. So you could have a daytime image of Mount Hood, we could have a nighttime image, or we could have you know just multiple images, and we can continue to reposition and, and create some new textures and effects here. So I can go to finishing, uh, finish uh, editing at this level, and you'll see how we have our two uh, photograph and our vector shape power clipped into the very same uh, object. Now in terms of editing, we can always save this file as a Corel file. We can always come back and right mouse click and edit contents. And at the point that you want to start all over, you can say extract contents and that will take every single object that you've had power clipped and you get access to, to those particular objects to then use in a different project or to uh, start over, make changes as you so, uh, so desire. Now the traditional way to power, uh, power clip if you can't remember uh, to right mouse click and drag and drop, which is the shortcut. Uh, the other way to do this is you can go to the effects menu. Actually before doing that you want to select your object. You can go to effects and what we can do at that point is select power clip and then we select place inside container. And once you do that you get this big black arrow. You can click on an object and it will go ahead and coordinate that power clip function. So my preference is to use the uh, shortcut and to make those changes uh, because you can see it's a lot easier than going effects, power clip, place inside container.